Ladies, gentlemen, and welcome to A Blend List. Today, we're gonna dive into an assortment of fragrances that give you a dynamic assortment of fragrance in the building of your fragrance wardrobe. These are potential fragrances that go in as a utility, a great usability, and uniqueness that drive home the fact that you want accessories in your life to elevate you. The reason I bring out the blend list stating for business, leisure, evening elegance, night out, and daily is to give you a package of fragrances to build your wardrobe in a functionality state of mind. I have these fragrances in my collection. They have a great utility. And as a collection of five fragrances, not only do they do their own weightlifting for each category, they come to make a very good and dynamic structure around you as a whole. So when you get these fragrances in your collection as you use them for the business, leisure, evening, elegance, night out and daily, you can also use these fragrances in any of the um, arenas of life you see fit, but you know you have a collection to pull for each one in its own utility. Um, if this sounds like the type of content you think that you'll enjoy, pull up a seat, pour a glass, and of course, let's enhance. Gentlemen, welcome to The Dry Down, the lifestyle channel where we as enthusiasts aspire to enhance and elevate our olfactive sensory experiences through the understanding of the different aromas, faucets, and nuance of scents, cigars, and wines. I'm your host, Chris. Welcome to today's experience. This particular blend list for the fall of 2024 is a very good list, a deep impact list that really brings about functionality, utility, uniqueness, with the potential to give you some new ground broke in your fragrance collection. I've gathered here five fragrances and maybe even possibly one, my scent of the day, but these five, as the blend list states, I wanna give you something that gives you the actual accessory to each potential arena of your life that you can use a fragrance in, while not sticking strictly to it, but knowing that you have one to pull for in that arena. And first off, in my business fragrance for the fall of this year, I'm leaning toward this beautiful cedar fragrance that has a lot of incense, woody tones, and a lot of musk in it, but has the potential to become one of the best business fragrances in my collection because of the way the projection is, the way that the siage is, and the way it has a tonality to it that very much so harkens to a business state of mind. That particular scent is from the house of Hubegant, and it is Boyce Mystique Extra. So Boyce Mystique Extra is a fragrance that is built, like I said, Guayac wood, lots of cedar, cinnamon, amber, orris, iris, divana, and ginger. It has a lot of nice, um, it evokes a really nice recall of a gentleman in the fall. It has that essence of things like Royal Oud from the House of Creed. You know how that fragrance can go off if you've smelled it, I assume. Um, so it's really establishing itself as a nuance that has a little bit of sensuality to it, but a lot of the character-driven traits that we want in a business fragrance that come from Fougeres, but it has the incense accords and the woody tones that make it fall-driven. So for me, this is one fantastic fragrance that goes off in the fall time. It's not a pusher. It's not one that leaves a scent trail that is a mile long, but it has its own amount of sillage uh, and sillage that someone will smell. The aroma is fantastic. Sweet. It's stable. It's assuring. It's um, evocative of leadership. The cedar wood in this one is the phenomenal part along with the guayac. The woody tones. The woody tones are phenomenal. It has a ginger kick in this as well that is very very it's spectacular the way the ginger essence in this particular scent goes off. If you get this one in don't expect something like I stated that's going to project a mile away from you. This is not that type of scent. It's really it can project. I won't say it's not a projector but in the anosmic part of this scent it has a lot of peppery tonality and so that peppery tonality can really make you anosmic to it not giving you the ability to smell it throughout the entire wearing process of it but trust me it's on your skin it's pushing out for about six to eight hours and it smells phenomenal it's a scent that could take you directly from a business meeting a business office day straight into a, like a, um, a nightcap or an after work affair that's just something you want to be a part of as the co-workers and or the business meeting goes over this is a spectacular scent for that particular reason. And I put this as my number one scent for the fall of 2024 when it goes into business and my business blend list. Next up on the list, gentlemen, we're gonna talk about the Leisure Fragrance. Leisure Fragrance is all about comfortable, casual elegance. The scent that very much so brings leisure to my, 
my thought process and what I want to wear this particular fall. I knew when I bought this what exactly it would go into my assortment of fragrances for, why I was building it as a part of my wardrobe and what it ultimately has become a confident, comforting, casual, leisure fragrance that goes off phenomenal. The way I wear leisure fragrances is because I want to pull something. My day may go through business. My day may go through a date. My day may go through anything from the gym or just the relaxing around the house. And if I want a leisure set that can take me tonally from each category, that's exactly what this does. It can be sporting. It can be casual, relaxing. It can be something evolving a brief stint um, in someone's company. That's what Grease Charnel um, X Straight Day Parfum is all about from the house of BDK. Let's give it a quick sniff. This one is all about whip, just whipped, whipped sandalwood, creamy whipped sandalwood, earthy, rooty, smoky, tea like vibes come off of this one. It's functional, it's good smelling, it has a beautiful silage behind it, very persistent silage. The tones that come off of this, like I stated, milky, sweet, vetiver cardamom some um, outside of the normal Gris Charnel the extra version amped up the vetiver and amped up a little bit of the sisters lap and I'm making a little bit of a leathery tonality to it the surprising undertones of this one are um, this fruit tonality I get from the vetiver which comes off a little bit of a, um, a rind of grapefruit which is phenomenal I love the way I picked that up in some vetiver essences and I do get that in this one you won't it's not something that's a nuance you'll pick up in everything um, from everyone but for me I pick up that vetiver nuance that is deep rich almost kind of like um, some of Javoy's best vetiver fragrances if you enjoy those fragrances you know how that vetiver comes off this is one that harkens back to that for me and it's a casual scent that can lead me into each category while still holding its own in that pillar of being a leisure scent once again, that is Grease Charnel for the house's BDK, the extra red edition. Very suave, velvety smooth, balsamically sweet. You know, it just comes off great. Great blending is in this particular scent as well. I love the way it smells, and as a leisure scent, it's going to keep me in that casual mode, casual mindset, but still have me ready to sprint out and do what I have to do for the day. Once again, Grease Charnel, extra red version from BDK. Next up, gentlemen, what we have on this list for the evening elegance or just the elegant fragrance. This is a fragrance from the house of Killian. This is Pearl Oud, once was an exclusive in the Doha region of Middle East. Now you believe, or I believe you can find this all over the market, um, at least in the Killian back stores. What this is, this is one of the better, to me, the better takes on the Rose Oud genre of fragrances. It has a lighter feel than a lot of them and that gives me the aspect and thought process to pull this out as a utility for fall wear versus a lot of depth of the winter wear. I really enjoy this fragrance. It has some sister fragrances or brother fragrances like Namir from the house of Lotusita Victorious. It's that style of rose oud built on a lot of the um, Turkish rose. And Turkish rose has a uniqueness outside of Bulgarian or Moroccan or Taif. Um, it has its own unique sensibility about it. But this one here, beautifully made, sweet, warm, violet is in this one, some ylang, -ylang oud wood. The characteristics of this one are just a majestic serenity that comes into a play when you want to wear something for evening elegance. Now, as I stated in this blend list, these are fragrances that I'm implying that they can go in that category when that particular situation pops up in your life. But I wear this one to work. I wear this one in my business. I wear this in my meetings. I wear this in the daily wear sometimes because it's that calming, it's that fresh, it's that warm, sweet, and inviting that I can just chill and sit back with it. But as an evening elegant fragrance, this is one if you're going out on the town, if you feel yourself going into a situation where you're going to have some, um, a situation where you want to go to a, a gala or a soiree. You know, this time of year we have a lot of festivities that we go into not only for the taking of um, our holiday events, but we have things like these festivals where we have wine affairs, cigar affairs, even perfume affairs that we go to when it's gala style. You want to dress up, dress the part. The great fragrance for that is a rose oud combination. And for me in the fall wear where we can have temperature fluctuations, Pearl Oud is the perfect one for me because of the Yang Lang and Violet that calms down the actual high level viscosity and thickness of a scent. It makes it a little bit more ethereal, a little bit more light in its wearing and the process um, 
evolution on my skin, a sillage, everything just comes off beautiful. And so when I wear this one, it's a sense of calmness, serenity, while also feeling powerful. And I love that about this particular scent and what by Killian put on the market for us. Green tint, sweet, deep, rich, a very tangible scent that goes off in elegant situations while also being a date night and daily wear fragrance style to me, at least in the way I wear my fragrances. So today's evening elegance or evening fragrance or elegant fragrance, however you want to put it, how I put it is evening and slash elegance. This is the scent Pearl Oud penned by the prolific perfumer Christian Provenzano. Pearl Oud by Killian. Get your nose on that one. Nice scent. Very nice scent. Above, above, above average in any way. It's a spectacular scent. I would rate eight and a half, nine and a half in that range out of 10. Beautiful rose oud combination. Get your nose on it. Ladies and gentlemen, next up what we have in this list. <sighs> Night out. Our favorite scenario sometimes. You know, we, we work hard, we play hard. And when we play hard, we want to wear fantastic fragrances that come off sexy, sensual, alluring attractive attractive enough to carry a great profile great scent trail and for me the scent of this year is going to be side effect side effect is one that i've had a hard time wearing because of the actual functionality and what i wanted to put it in early when i got it it didn't function in my mind state how i wanted to but the more i've kept it in my collection and worn it throughout and the compliment factor that comes off this particular scent is exactly what you want in a date night scenario and or night out with the fellas out to party this is a scent with its calling card and hallmark of rum tobacco and cinnamon with that combination it's a deadly evocative scent of sexuality sensuality and arousal alluring that's the utility of this one and that's exactly what you buy this fragrance for you don't buy this fragrance to go to business meetings you don't buy this fragrance to go to evening elegant fragrance or nights you want this fragrance to be your night out date night type of fragrance and so in the blend list this night out gym is spectacular it's the house of initio we know how initio can use a better just a bevy of sensuality when it comes to their chords and their structures they use a lot of heroin in this one a lot of tobacco leaf sweet sweet rum and cinnamon it's spicy it's warm it's honey like it's sweet it's fruity it's alcoholic it just rises to the top when you talk about situations of nights out it's a phenomenal scent that i think all of we should all of us should at least sample this particular scent because you need to know how this one feels on your skin, smells on your skin, the amount of silage that comes off it, because it's unique to everyone. And that's what I have learned about this particular scent, because what it got me attracted to more and more pulling for this particular scent was smelling it on someone else and thinking, wow, what's that you have on? And when they told me, I said, well, you, I, damn, I got that in my collection. I didn't perceive it that way. Went back to it more often. And now it's one that I can't wait to pull out fall after fall to wear in my nights out scenarios. So once again, side effect from the house of initial parfums a honey tonality complex dashingly sweet well-versed signature that comes off well because of its hallmark of rum tobacco and cinnamon get your nose on it get a sample you won't be disappointed in your nights out utility side effect gentlemen as we narrow this this down to the last of the actual blend this is the daily fragrance daily fragrance for me is one that encapsulates anything that you can want to wear when you want to have a dumb reach for me a dumb reach is a fragrance that has a lot of um, woody tonality in the fall at least woody some sweet citrus tonality but a lot of creamy spiciness and for me that type of fragrance is argos denae argos denae is one of these sweet ambery style of fragrances has some mass appeal to it that's one way of functionality the daily scent works you want functionality and utility in that way it's still unique by the way it comes off as a cashmere and patchouli and sandalwood fragrance but at the end of the day this is one fragrance that you can live with through your daily wearing. It's built off a lot of sweet, ambery, woody tonality, like I stated, and cashmere and wood. That musky sweetness that we love in fragrances in Argos by, or Danae by Argos, that house uses the factor of allure attraction, but also loves to use the uniqueness in their fragrance structure. And what I mean by uniqueness, they like to build fragrance that has a mass appeal while still having niche quality to their fragrances so you smell the evolution on your skin you see the distinctive in the different faucets of the fragrance and that comes off well on you and projects well off you and makes you look and feel like a more dynamic individual and one of the fragrances that does that as a daily wear is Danae I can't go on waxing poetic more about this I do have a actual uh, kind of source conversation talking about this house and I just 
stating how devastatingly beautiful this fragrance can come off on the skin. It can come off semi-complex, not totally complex, but semi-complex in this evolution. You smell everything at the top, the bergamot, Sicilian lemon. You go through the mid with the cashmere wood that stays veiling over the base of mice or sandalwood, cistus, lanthanum, and patchouli. And that patchouli is one of the ones that is very much so a woody tonality soil like calling card but not so dirty that you pick it up too much it just sits right in the functionality of the fragrance and that hallmark is phenomenal for this particular scent Danae is one of my favorite from the house of argos if you have a chance pick it up see what you think about it i act that I, I this fragrance is good it's a good one for daily wear once again Danae from the house of argos Gentlemen, this is my video for you guys today. I hope as always you found something educational and entertaining for this particular content. This was me giving you my blend list, the business, leisure, evening, elegant, night out, and daily list that really gives some utility and usability to your fragrance wardrobe. It's a great customization to use when you're going out and purchasing fragrances. Use the blend formula and you'll never go wrong in what it is that you have as a collective. This profile here for me was one giving you for the fall of 2024 and I hope it goes well to pique your interest into things that you have not seen on the market and or have not thought about purchasing for f certain scenarios in your life. Um, I did mention that I have a fragrance of today on and I figured I would just go ahead and mention it in this int outro. Today I am wearing Uma by the house of Stephen Umber Luca <clears throat> and it's one of the most phenomenal Rose Oud combinations on the market today. I did not think about my research today when I was pulling out the particular fragrance so I don't want to dive deep into it. I will give you a kind of source conversation on it but what I will tell you that if you are a person who loves Rose Oud combinations and you want to smell something that is ultimately balsamic, warm, um, cozy but has a spirituality about it really calming very much so a thought process fragrance this is a phenomenal scent by the house of Stefan Umber Lucas he used a Burmese oud in this one which is a phenomenal oud accord he uses Moroccan rose he uses Turkish rose he uses Bulgarian rose he has Peru balsam he has um, Tolu balsam so the conjuring of the scent is one of very much so adult masculine rose oud combination but it's not your typical it's not going to drive you middle eastern as much as it is going to drive you spiritual in its journey on your skin it's one that comes off fantastic it's a power play fragrance that i love to wear in the fall and i love pulling this one out it's one of my favorite medicinal style of oud fragrances so if you are one who loves that medicinal side of oud not barnyard not you know fecal this is one of the best on the market um Ouma. I'll give you guys a kind of source conversation on this one and give you the prologue and how it goes on the skin. But at the end of the day, this is a particularly beautiful fragrance that has been enshrined in my collection. Um, I love it. Stemma Umber Lucas Auma. All right. Till next time. Until next video. Peace.